including the impressive McLaren team, who last won here in 1976 with a jubilant James Hunt at the wheel. But today starts a new era for McLaren, the first race for their new turbo car with its Porsche-designed tag turbo engine and the great Nicky Lauda driving it. Nicky, you came back to racing last year. You won two Grand Prix, but this year you have only finished in a few. Has it been very disheartening for you? It was very boring because, uh, as you know, the Cosworth engines really came to an end. Uh, turbo power is the only way you can basically win races. So, uh, thank God we decided to get the TAC Turbo in our car. We're here the first time with a brand new car, with a brand new engine. The first time at the race meeting after very little testing. So you can't really expect too much because it's a long development program we have to carry out. Well, what are your feelings about the car having driven it and qualified it? I'm very happy that we got it here. This is the first thing. But as I said, to, to develop an engine and the car to it is a very huge program. So we are right in the beginning to it. We have to use the next three, four races to get all the information we need and to work hard over the winter to give us a real race winner for next year. What are you hoping for here in Holland? I really hope to finish the race because if we could finish the race here with a brand new turbo engine, I think this nobody has done before. So what I really want to do this afternoon is race and hope to finish because this would be a big success for us. So what will be your tactics when the flag falls? Tactics will be uh, as quick as I can because uh, you can't really give the engine a running in time because there's no time for it. So I will drive as hard as I can. And uh, as I said, if the engine breaks, I'm not upset because that's basically normal. But if it would finish, I would be really happy. Nicky, what about 1984? Will you be driving for McLaren again? I will drive for McLaren again in 84. I have a contract which uh, committed me to do so. And I want, uh, want to say one thing. Everybody really tried very hard to get that car here in Zandvoort, McLaren, Porsche and the Bosch people. We got the car here even late because I think the mechanics worked on the ferry over to, to Holland, yes, yes. still finishing the car. So I think they really did a great effort. And I think it's worth doing so because we really have to get it going and to be able to win next year. So that means that you sound very optimistic about doing well next year. I'm very optimistic that now I have the same baseline as my colleagues because I didn't have that with the Cosworth. Now I have at least the turbo engine. Now it will depend on the team and Porsche how quick we are able to sort the things so hard that we are the quickest car on the circuit. Well, thank you for talking to us. Now you want some lunch before the race, yes? I'll have another 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Nicky. <laughs> Today, Lauda is only 19th on the grid with his brand new car. Well, I mean, it's just fantastic. I mean, it's, it's just what the team needed, and it's just what I needed as a person as well. I mean, I, even on the last lap, I felt that something was going to go wrong, but it didn't. You've been slogging away at Formula One. This is your third year. You've been a top man in everything else you've done, and you must have been wondering whether it was ever going to come good. Yes, I mean, very much so, actually. I mean, I, every time we, the car looks good and we perform very well, some little silly happens, and the end result doesn't come. You have been a desirable property in Grand Prix racing for a very long time now and there have been a lot of people talking to you. There are a lot of rumours about you moving somewhere else for 1984. Is there any substance to them? Well, yes. I mean, obviously I have a few options. I'm talking to a couple of teams. Um, but my best option, the way I feel, is, is to stay with Tolmans and carry on, maybe not the way we are at the moment, but to um, change a few things. Um, ho hopefully this result will, will bring a sponsor, um, which is what we need, enough to develop the engine in the way that we need to compete against Renault or Ferrari. Or if that's not possible, um, maybe we, we change a few things and still I think we then can compete with, with, with the with works makes. Well, I can't think of anything that anybody's ever done that would be more likely to attract a sponsor than what you have done this year. Now, I know you're busting to get away to a party, right? Yes, I think for sure we will celebrate tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, off you go. You certainly deserve it. Well Thank done, Derek. Thank you. A very happy Derek Warwick then, and let's hope that his success continues in Italy in two weeks' time. But